Hey, what's going on YouTube? So as you know, it's Bess here, and I'm here to give you a fresh update of what is going on with Apple. Apple had just done a uh, revamp, kind of a, a, a sort of a big revamp to their desktop lineup, to the Mac Minis, iMacs, to their airport, time capsule, you name it, Mac Pro, anything with a desktop, they pretty much updated and refreshed. Uh, so today is March the 3rd, Tuesday, and there were some rumors going around very heavily Monday about this, and it was true. And a lot of the, the previous rumors about the Mac Mini and everything actually were pretty accurate. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini didn't get a big design refresh uh, as far as the look of it. Um, or it wasn't you know combined with the Apple TV, which some people were thinking. Um, but um, as you can see in this video right here, this video was put out probably a week, a week and a half before this update. So somebody actually got their hands on it before, and I guess... I know Apple is pretty pissed about it, um, but as you can see here, it does have five USB ports now, and it does have support with the Mini Display Port as well on it, so you can use it with the new Apple Cinema displays. Um, and um, let's see, now they can both run. They have a 2.0 gigahertz Core 2 Dual processor in them, and now they do also have the 9400 Mobile. NVIDIA 9400 Mobile, which you find in the new MacBooks and the new MacBook Pro. So the graphics performance in these new Mac Minis with these 9400 Mobile processors, I mean, graphics um, in here is pretty well um, well done compared to what it had previously. So you're going to be able to play some more games with your Mac Mini uh, than you were previously. And uh, let's go to the prices here. So uh, for $600, you can get 2.0 gigahertz, 120 gigabyte hard drive, 1 gig of memory, and uh, the 9400 mobile so still not that $500 price point which a lot of people like but you know if you you're kind of short on money this is a pretty good price and also you can get the 320 gigabyte hard drive version with 2 gig of RAM uh, and the same 2.0 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Dual and an in, in NVIDIA GeForce 9400 for $799 so you have a couple options there for it but still you know it's the, it's the cheapest Mac that you can get and it just got better for the same price so that's a good thing. All right, and let's go to uh, let's go to the Airport Extreme. Uh, the Airport Extreme is their their wireless router uh, that Apple makes. And uh, what's new in this update is that they can support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands uh, simultaneously, which meaning some devices really just get the internet via Wi-Fi over the 2.4 gigahertz band, and some devices use the 5 gigahertz band. So now you can have dual bands going at the same time. So uh, all your devices won't be on one band and cluttering it up. Um, and, and it supports up to 50 users simultaneously. And um, you even have a, uh, what, it, what they call it, um, guest networking where you can actually set up beside a separate uh, Wi-Fi network for guests when they come into your household. So they won't have any access to your um, your data, your important things on your hard drive, on your, your own personal network. So they can just hop onto this personal network with their own password and everything. And uh, you'll keep you safe and also them safe. So that's a good thing. And uh, so this is uh, $179. So I think the price is about the same as what it was. The price didn't go up at all. I don't, I'm pretty sure it didn't go up, but I don't know if it went down. Um, and so that's the Airport Extreme. And now we're going to go to the Time Capsule. The Time Capsule uh, was updated as well. Let me get here. And pretty much the time capsule is the same thing as the Airport Extreme, but with a, a hard drive in it. So it's the same 500 gigabyte and one terabyte version um, time capsule, but it just has the same thing that the Airport um, Stream base station got, which was the uh, uh, simultaneous dual band support and the guest networking. So, so that pretty much stayed the same besides that as well. Um, all right, so to go ahead and get to the computers in here, I think we got all the other uh, peripherals out of there. Um, now let's go to the um, Mac Pro. Now the Mac Pro was updated with the Intel Nehalem uh, Xeon processors. Hope I said everything right. Um, and um, so pretty much, they're a significant upgrade. It start it's starting three hundred dollars less than the previous generation. So that's another good thing. The prices come down on these things somewhat. All right. All right. So you can get the um, the base configuration starting at um, right right around twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, this comes with one quad core that's 2.6 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon Nehalem processor. 
3 gigs of memory, uh, 60, 640 gigabyte hard drive, and of course a super drive, and an NVIDIA GeForce GT 120 with 512 megs of memory with that. Uh, so that's the base version, quad core starting at um, $2,500, and also they have a 8 core starting at um, <laughs> starting at $3,300. Uh, which is two two point six two point is two two point two six gigahertz um, quad core Intel Nihalon proce processor six gigs of memory six hundred forty gigabyte hard drive and uh, again with the Nvidia GeForce GT one twenty with five hundred twelve megabytes of RAM so um, the Mac Pro is still probably out of range for a lot of users it's really for really heavy users but it's good to see that the base version of it the quad core just the plain quad-core version of it did come down in price, uh, so that's a good thing. Um, now this also does have support for the mini. It does have the mini display port on it as well, so you can use it uh, with the new monitors now. Um, and finally, let's get to the iMac. Now the iMac has a nice uh, refresh here, not a design change at all, uh, just the change to the internals. Uh, so now they only have one 20-inch uh, model available for you if you want to purchase that. And uh, that's um, uh, $1,200. And um, I'll just show you this here. I'm not going to go over all the specs here. Uh, but it just have one 20 inch version now. And now they have three different 24 inches versions you can choose from. And uh, this is what I'm more interested in. And the one I'm looking at is the one right here in the middle. It's a 24 inch model, 2.93 gigahertz, uh, has four gigs of memory with it, um, 640. Gigabyte hard drive, the NVIDIA GT120 with uh, 256 megs of memory with it. And uh, it's a pretty nice screen. So that's the uh, version I am looking at, thinking about getting. And uh, so it's pretty nice price, pretty nice price point, especially with my military discount. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Um, you can. Um, you can upgrade the hard drive with this to a terabyte just for adding an additional hundred dollars. So that's not that's not a bad upgrade. Um, also, you can get the fastest graphics card option you can get with the iMac now. It's the ATI Radeon um, HD forty eight fifty, which is with five hundred twelve megabytes of memory, and that's just adding an additional two hundred dollars. Um, so this is the updates that Apple has done. Um, I think I covered everything, and uh, if you go to Apple's online store right now, and you'll 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 see the them advertising the new updates for it, uh, but it's a, it's a nice solid update. Now there's a rumored 24, uh, not the 24, but it's a rumored March 24th event that Apple's going to be holding this month. So um, we're waiting to see on that. Now we definitely thought that this is what it was going to cover, but obviously it's not. So maybe it's going to be Snow Leopard, maybe it's going to be something new. Uh, but uh, I definitely think it's a nice solid update. And if you were holding out on getting one of these models. Uh, then definitely the time to get it is now because they're probably not going to be updated for a while here. All right, Smith Soldier, those best here. I am back from training, so make sure you keep checking my channel every day. I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos here uh, kind of regularly. And also make sure you do catch, catch me out on Ustream.tv. Just look for Soldier Knows Best. That's my um, show channel page. And Ustream.tv is a live streaming uh, website where you can see me stream live and I answer questions, answer calls on the air, and I pretty much just have a good time in there. And make sure you all subscribe to me on YouTube. I do have quite a few giveaways coming up here for YouTube users and also giveaways for people who are in my Ustream chat. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace.